opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. The king's Indian defense prepares to develop the bishop to g7, allowing white to build up a strong center which black will later try to undermine. And c3 prepares the e2-e4 pawn push and helps control the d5 square. Bg7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. e4 takes full control of the center. d6 controls the e5 square and allows the light squared bishop to develop. b2 develops the light squared bishop and prepares to castle king side. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Nf3 develops the knight, defends the d4 pawn, controls the e5 square and prepares to castle. c5 takes space in the center and attacks the d4 pawn. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. It is the last book move. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. A very strong play. It is excellent. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is good. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. It is excellent. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. This misses a much better move. It is a mistake. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is best. This threatens to kick a knight. There was only one good move there. It is a mistake. There was only one good move in that position. It is a miss. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. This is the only good move. This threatens to kick a knight. It is a great move. This permits the opponent to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This kicks an opposing knight. It is best. This moves the knight to safety. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This threatens to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is good. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. It is a mistake. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This threatens to win a pawn. There was only one good move there. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a knight. It is a mistake. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is best. This protects the attacked pawn. It is best. This exposes an attack, threatening a pawn. It is excellent. This threatens to win a pawn. This permits the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a queen. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks an opportunity to block an attack on a vulnerable knight. It is an inaccuracy. The pawn is now adequately defended. It is best. This reveals an attack on a pawn. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black played better than white in the opening. Both players navigated the middle game well.